Welcome everybody back to Hogwarts Legacy. So we are at the three broomsticks to talk to Poppy for another side quest that we have going on. I thank you enough for helping to save the village from this. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Thank you, I appreciate I that. For more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. All right, let's do it. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. So then is this just basically waiting for her? And it looks like there's another quest up here, actually. Is this where we go to get it? Man, I didn't realize how big the three broomsticks was. How do we... Wait, is it out here? Aha! He'll see it was a mistake parting ways. Ackley you, Barnes. Sir. Is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about- Is that all that it is? I'm sure. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? Should we steal a plant for this? Um. I mean. I'll get the uh, tentacular for you. Marvelous. Might as well do it, right? Get some XP out of it. Justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. All right, so I can take literally anything and everything that I want out Remember, of this person, I just out of the cellar. Venomous tentacular. All right, so and the quest is right over here. So if we can do a quick quest, this must be it. Do we even? Okay, we can. It's just gonna let us right in, huh? I mean, let's this do it. Must be the cellar. How to find that venomous tentacular? Okay. There we go. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. I don't want to knock anybody out or harm anyone, if possible. Oh, don't make me do anything. I want to cause no harm. I'm just here for herbology items. Can spy Wait, I have never once used this spell with spiders nearby. Will they be able to spot me? Why can't I took all three of them out with that? I mean, you know what? If we're going to refill all of our plants.
plants and items and stuff like that. Let's let's do it. I have the venomous tentacular. I should return to Mr. Barnes. All right, so that's all we have to do, huh? And because we have our our sneak all the way up, we should be able, yeah, we can just sprint without anyone or without alarming anyone. I mean, the music in this game is just so incredibly magical. Every aspect, no matter where you are, there's fun music being played. I have that venomous tentacular. Wish I could see Lawley's face when You're he welcome. his prized possession is gone. You are welcome. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Yeah, I'd like to be paid for this. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. Yes! I can respect your business acumen. A thousand gold? Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. To Zonko's? If you gave me like 50 gold? Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. Did he give us any gold? Oh, 500 golds. Okay, I'll take that. Is this the correct way? Does this know where I'm supposed to be going? Because... Oh, I see. Okay, so it's up here. Right? Alright, what is this going to get? I didn't even look up the... Of course, this is going to require a whole new different situation, isn't it? Get something from that book. May I have it? I'm gonna have to do something for this character. I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Oh quiz. no. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. I'm not Hence, I have created okay. a small quiz. Just I'm not that knowledgeable about Harry Potter as world. far as like the lore no, of it. I've no, seen the movies a few times. I've never read the books. I think, actually, I think I read the first one. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. All right, quiz let's try it out. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'm I'll nervous. Look. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? I have no idea. The Golden Snidget. Correct. Okay, the that's correct. Was first introduced to Quidditch sure. in 1269 <laughs> by a Lucky woman guess? named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly. So the first one is the Finch. Golden Snidget, which just in case I have to do this all over again. Is commonly referred to as Liquid Luck. Felix Felicis. Well done. Yeah, I mean, okay, I guess they do Felicis know more about Harry Potter than I think. Really lucky. Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Horcruxes. No. Damn it! it was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, sorry, the that was horrible. I, I I don't know why. I resurrection stone and the cloak of invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? It's the quaffle, isn't it? The quaffle. That's right. Okay. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. A fight. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Isn't that correct? True. Actually, Damn it! I'm false. so bad at this! While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change... See, species. that's what threw me off. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal. Okay, so even though I got some wrong, I'm still able to... Again, I have I'm still able to get the book. You, and I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. That, I got three out of five so correct. Is that horrible? Not now. I don't I'm want sorry. to embarrass myself I any further. For quiz at the moment. Let Let's not do that. Mind. I put the book back on the pedestal. Rebellion. All right. Rebellion no, 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 no. I'm trying to get this field guide that's floating through my body right now. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you we don't have time. Mind. Okay. Professor Weasley's task. We got it. I should attend Transfiguration. 
All right, let's go back to Professor Weasley. Excuse me. Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. All right. I feel like we haven't been in a class in a pretty long time. It's an owl! Now it's a book. Settle down. Settle down. No one no one's even being rowdy. As you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Do we? Because I haven't learned this yet. Oh, no, I did not mean to hit that. Man. It's a moth. Beautifully done. Nice. Okay, I need to assign different spells. This one's like my attack, you know? So we have to get that there, we have to get that there, and then bada boom. Okay. We are good. Speak with Professor Weasley. Hello, ma'am. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. I mean, I put a seed in a pot and I let the time I run out. I say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. I mean... Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in... Nope, any way not at all. ...to Professor Fig? Not at all. I'm fascinated by ghosts. We gotta protect our boy. ...food. And I was interested in learning more about the castle and the surrounding area. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWL. I'm not ready for the I'll owls. I'll final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Thank you, I appreciate that. Assignment completed. Uh, I kind of want to test this spell out. Uh, let's do this one. No, I did not mean to do both. Oh, so if I, you can I just continuously use this on enemies and will that barrel break right away? Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Okay. Got it. I, I kind of want to... My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Okay, so let's see what else we have, because now we have two main quests that we can do, but then we have all these other things as well. Uh, so let's go here. Um, I guess it's right there is where we need to travel. Gobbledygook, gobbledygook. All right. 
What are we gonna do? Are we attending another so class? Frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Are we? Careful. Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now. That's Much pretty cool. Another chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Animagus. What did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can I want to learn more about this. Animagus will take. Oh no, a person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being okay. here. Is that all we had to do, was just listen? Conversation. Again, another quest where it just doesn't tell you that it was completed. I don't know what it, I don't know why. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it does. It, it's just to me, it feels like nothing happened. Like it feels like I didn't accomplish anything. Um. Okay, let's locate this on the map. Ooh, those are far away. Oh my goodness! Hold on.
Gotcha. All right. I got one of them. But and I, I kind of want to get more for breeding purposes. And so let's do this. Got it. Okay, there's two. Settle yourself. I mean you know how. Alright, can we get a few more? Maybe just one more. Did I these things are teleporting everywhere. Okay, we got it. Nice. We got three of these things. Bum 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 this could bum. Prove dangerous if I'm not careful. You are mine now. Places. Here we go. We got four of them. Bum 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 bum. Okay, let's go and take this thing out that's over here. Where is it? Is there an enemy stuck in a rock or something? It's not showing up. Okay, this one's only three. Nice, we got one. Assignment's all finished. Let's gather some more, shall we? There we go. I mean, since I'm here, I might as well just grab as many as possible. Alright. Beast class during the day. <laughs> so cute. A Niffler. That seems dangerous to blow up fireworks in, in front of someone's today. face. Class dismissed. I take it you're ready to learn. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. Got it. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. <sighs> use caution. When well, absolutely. Only use it when we have to. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, Whoop. the exploding charm Whoop. is highly volatile. Whoop. Nice. Another new spell. Well, Bombarda. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? On pumpkins? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. All right, let's try this bad boy. Nice. Cast the spell just like that. I wonder how much damage that actually does. It's a heavy damage spell. There we go. Got to be just right. Nice. There we go. All right, please be something good. What? That's messed up. Rebellion. Worse than what we have. Okay, so now let's wait. Hold on, I see another lock. You see, this game gets you. This is why it takes a hundred and something hours. Another lock. Oh, that was as soon as I opened it. It was ready to go. Alohomora. There we go. Ooh. A robe. 
Dear Professor Howen, I would be more than happy to take any excess puff skin hair from you. I would collect it when I make my next... I could collect it when I next make a delivery to the castle. Sounds as if you have plenty for your classroom needs. Uh, perhaps you might even have time for a cup of tea. A little bird told me that you once encountered an Okani. Okani? Okani? I can't say I'd mind hearing about that. Uh, I once encountered a young Welsh green when I was collecting toad hide in the west. Of course, it could have been a baby Vivarin. Vivarin? Wevern? Hard to tell at that age. Anyway, not for the faint of heart, is it? This life with magical beast? Looking forward to a response, Ellie Peck. Alright, looks like we have a chest over here as well. Some white gloves. And is this another chest? Oh, look at the little Niffler. Ah, oh, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. Uh, let's just wait till night time. My now, demi guys. My now, demi guys. Pick this bad boy up. I don't know the exact number we have of those, but I know it's not enough to get level three locks. Hello, Sebastian. I thought my owl might peak your. I came as soon as I could. I've been your so owl did peak my interest. By the and Slytherin's book. That I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Maybe we can avoid detection because even if we do start taking people out, we well. can just get up behind them and do the one hit. Symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. Is there even anyone down here? Actually, let's change out our spell here because we don't need the the sack. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. <laughs> nope, you don't see shit. Yep. Go straight. Don't come towards me. That's not what I meant to do. This guy went directly towards me. Ooh, that does so much damage. Nope. Hold up a second. You guys ready? All of Ranrock's loyalists Easy. the same fate. Nice work. Easy, baby. Rebellion. All right, let's pick all this stuff up here. Lots of gold over here. Got goggles, we got gold. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else. There's a few things down there, but. And then we got Sebastian over here just breaking shit. I love it. This is going well. <laughs> we make a good team. I mean, it is going pretty well, right? Once again, we can fight our way through or be discreet. Nope, let's be discreet. Which one I'd choose? I was only following orders. Leave your accusation. Not quite. God enough. damn it. Yeah. Uh. 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 
No! Oh, you might as well just use this, right? <laughs> Alright, this guy wants a purple spell, huh? Um, how about that one? Why didn't it work? What the hell just happened? What just happened? Goodbye. We got it. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. It was relatively fun. I agree, Sebastian. I completely agree. All right, let's check out our inventory really quick. Select. Um... We have two talent points. See, my, my, my stealth is completely maxed out. I don't understand how I, they are still able to see me. Search for the rune Battle symbol. Us, okay, let's see if these guys can see me, because apparently when it comes to goblins, catch and throw a disarmed enemy. I just, I kind of just want to boppity boo. You, this mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Savage. Uh, who is it? Sh Shit. Nobody here but me. Yep. There's no one here but you, but what about your friends? Yeah, there's nobody here. Don't worry about it. What? Level 27. Damn, okay. Nice. I was gonna say, man. Too many. There's so many enemies in here. There's something here they want. Didn't we get that? Is there? Oh, there's a chest down there. Got it. Okay. And over here. Don't mind me, spiders. I'm just trying to get a chest. A high raised floor. Any ideas? I always have ideas, Sebastian. So we are going to bippity boppity, then we are going to bippity boo. So we're gonna do this. Yep. Jump up, jump up. We we've done this plenty of times, Sebastian. Who do you think you're messing with here? It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs. Or the soulless eyes. I think it's the soulless eyes. Smash it. Hearing quality. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Um, okay, so we're going this way. We should be able to climb this, right? Capringo. I love the whisper. This big chest for something that unappealing. Um, okay, so then all we should have to do is rebuild the bridge here. That bridge you see in days. Look at us using all of our spell arsenal. I love it. Ah, 
Oh. Easy. We'll take this thing on. Not a big deal at all. Let's get up behind it and do a lot of damage first. Or just kill it. That's fine too. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep that night. The only good spider is a dead spider, and I apologize for anyone that has spiders as pets, but they just gave me the heebie jeebies. Professor Hackett would be proud. Wait, there's a chest over here. I forgot about this! Keep going, keep going. Come on, we made it. Okay. All of that for a giant purple tur toad turd? For a giant purple toad statue. That's not what I did. Good riddance. Okay. So then all we have to do is boppity boo. Lumos, Lumos. Yep. I also love how the characters that come with you aren't complete idiots and they kind of just they follow your lead a little bit, you know? Ah, man, that does so much damage. I love it. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. Okay, well it looks like I it's going to be a bit distracted from rune Looks like it's moment. up here. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Hold on, we'll take him out, don't you worry. Well, I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. Mushroom tea? That sounds disgusting. I still got you. Spiders and goblins all at once. Easy. The squeals that they make. I'm not trying to hit that goblin over there. Goodbye. Whew. This is complete madness. In a beautiful way. Oh man, there's so much. Yeah, I just gave you the one, two, three combo. And Sebastian, come on, my man. Oh, we still got this clown up here, huh? Oh, come on, you're like in such a weird spot. That'll take care of him. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. You Gryffindors don't have a monopoly. Ooh, we got some chests over here. Good for you. Got bags of gold. Oh, that's not a chest. That's a box for us to move. Um, okay. Is there a th th oh, there's a third. Okay. We can have a round. Above the cabin door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Rebellion. Anything else? Alright, so we should. Let's pull that over here. Let's put this bad boy right here. Nope, wrong, wrong, wrong spell. Here we go. Oh, 
All of that for seven... Okay, 54 gold? I mean, gold is gold, I guess, you know? All right. What do we have here? The world floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long I had... How long had I been unconscious? I only remember his eyes, empty, empty of sorrow. Yes, but also, I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish. But then everything started to turn when I fell. I must have hit my head. I neither fell nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it is not the Black Death. At least he is no longer in pain. What do you have? Rebellion. A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more Sebastian, of this mystery. I think I found something. A canvas piece. Yeah, there's that as well. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Just make sure there's Sim. nothing else in here. Something about this place feels odd. Check on Sebastian. What feels odd? Minus, you know, the, the skeletons and, and glass containers and... That Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's a sum of you haven't heard Rackham before? I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. There we go. And Straight back into the Undercroft. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Place the portrait into the triptych. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Why wouldn't we be? I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Ween has suffered for it. He looks pissed. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know. That's when not to what stop. I really meant to say. Unbelievable. I'm sorry, Sebastian. That's not what I really meant to say at all, by the way. I really, really did not. All right. Now, uh, okay, so he's all the way up in this tower. Okay, guys, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. That was an hour of recording, uh, which, again, for the 19th time at this point is where I want to keep these videos is right around that hour mark. But, man, this was such a good episode. That was, again, Sebastian has the coolest most unique and fun and just there's always something going on in his quest and I, it i i just love the flow that this game has with its quest you know sometimes it's it's not just constantly fighting enemies all the time every single quest sometimes it's discovering new places new areas new you know hidden little hidden compartments within hogwarts and just learning new spells and different classes. It's I just love the variety of quests in this game. And to me, that's very rare. You know, in so many games, it's just fight, 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 fight all the time. To where it's like you feel like you're just doing the same thing over and over and over. But 
I mean, if I go to like the quest log here, most of these, like this is the main quest. This is, you know, using potions against enemies. This is meeting Sebastian in the catacombs, which is going to be a fight. Uh, just, I don't know, like we're returning a dragon egg. There's just always something different to do. And I mean, the reason why I'm not as far as I want to be in this game is just because of how much there is to do. There's always something to distract you. There's always something that grabs your attention. I mean, going from point A to point B, there's always something in between, at least while you're playing through the game, there's just always something in between those two things that's going to grab you and actually provides you with something. You know, there's chests to unlock, there's new areas, there's camps, there's just always something that you're going to run into going in between quest. And it's just, this is such a good game. And in my opinion, I mean, I'm looking at the games that are going forward within the year, and this is it, this is going to be a hard one to beat. I really think that it is. So far, to me, this is the game of the year. Um, of course, we still have nine months left. We still have plenty of time for more games to come out, and, you know, their time to shine. But right now, Hogwarts Legacy, to me, besides my... like. Besides the the students not interacting with, you know, the spells that you cast or things that you do within the castle and not having Quidditch, this game is pretty much perfect. Um, and then also not being able to really... The game was all about choose your destiny, but then in reality, besides making a few speech choices, there really isn't a way to choose your own destiny unless you don't do certain things or... You again say something different, like you have between the two options, you choose the second option instead of the first one. It does like there is no morale chart, there is no good and evil chart, there's nothing like that that I kind of wish that it had. Um, and it doesn't even seem like once once the quest is completed, it, it's kind of like to me, this is Red Dead Redemption 2 in a way, to where it's like no matter how the quest or the mission ended, it doesn't affect the next quest after that, you know. Whereas games like Fallout, for example, if you kill a character, like you're done. There's no more interacting with that character. And it gives you the free ability to do that. And I know these are completely different games. But I just, you know, there are things that I wish that they would have added to this game that they didn't. But I understand that they only had so much time to get this game out there. And who knows, maybe later down the line they will do a good and evil chart. Maybe that's something they add and Hogwarts Legacy 2, if that's a thing, which I wouldn't see how it wouldn't be with the success that they've had. I don't know why they wouldn't go for a second one. Or at least just keep adding DLC maybe in areas and graphical upgrades. That would be awesome as well. But, man, I just... Port Key Games, you did incredible, Avalanche. Uh, you, uh, just thank you guys so much for producing this game in the way that you did and just the quality that you put into it. This is... I'm blown away. This is incredible. There has not been an episode yet that I was bored. You know, I was always looking forward to the next thing, but man. Okay, guys, I've been rambling on for too long, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one and peace out.